hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video we'll go through the process of installing and uh, enabling a free VPN on a Kali Linux machine now one of the reasons why you might want to use a VPN on your Kali Linux computer is if you're looking to hide or mask your public IP address now there's two IP addresses that we normally use there's a private IP address that you use on your local area network and this one can normally be found on your computer itself you can do uh, let's say IP address and this is the 172.16.1.13 this is our private IP addresses that we use within our local network now when you're communicating with devices on the on the internet you'll you'll need your public facing IP address. This can normally be found on your router. You can log into it to see what it is. Or you can open a browser and Google uh, what is my IP and you should see it. We'll be uh, checking that after we configure our VPN. Now, in order for us to install the free VPN, we'll need to open a browser so that we can download it. So I'll open Firefox here. And then we wanna Google um, it's called a free VPN book. So free VPN book, uh, open VPN. And we want to go to vpnbook.com. And then we'll scroll down. We're looking for open vpn so click on this tab right here and then you have different options as far as the um the different certificate bundles that are available let's pick one and then we'll download it and install it so i'll go with the us one server bundle one thing you want to take note of is this right here the username and then the uh, password we'll need this when we enable or when we run the this vpn now i'll go ahead and that click on this to download it and this should start to download and showing us that it's completed so i'll close this i'll uh, minimize this then i'll go to the file system Now I'll go to downloads and this is where it's uh, the file has been downloaded. Uh, it's, so this is the file, it's a zip file or a compressed file. We'll need to unzip it. So we have two options. I can right click it right here and uh, extract here. I can also create another folder. Let's say uh, open vpn then i can copy this and put it inside that folder then i'll go in here and uh, extract it let's say extract here and these are the different uh, files that we get when we extract that file we can also do the extraction on the terminal so let's say delete this instead I'll go to the terminal let's split this horizontally and then we'll cd to the downloads folder And we'll list, and then we can go to the folder we created, and we'll do a list again, ls. Now what we can do is we can unzip it here. So the command is unzip, and then this file 
name right here. We'll do on sleep VPN book iPhone VPN this is one dot zip and this it has been extracted for us. Now to run this or to enable the VPN, we'll need to run a command called open VPN and then we'll select either one of these four. So we'll do open VPN. Then let's say we wanna go with the first one. We'll try the first one. We'll highlight it, Our copy selection. We'll come down here, right click and do paste clipboard. Press enter. Now, like I was saying, the password on that website, when we were doing the download, we need that to, in order to use it here, the username and the password. So we'll go back to uh, Firefox. And as you can see here, the username is VPN book. Uh, VPN book. And then the password DD4E58M. DD4E58M. And this one failed. Okay, it's saying operation not permitted. So that means we have to use a sudo. Give a password. Open VPN. And DD4E. DD4E58M. 58M. And then it's gonna do the negotiation for the ciphers, as you can see here, AES 256. So once it's done with these negotiations, it should complete with a statement that says initialization sequence completed. That should tell us that the VPN tunnel has been uh, activated. We can now go ahead and check our, our public IP address. To do this, we'll go to the browser here. And then we'll do, what we can do is we can go to Google and search for what is my IP. And then you can click this link and it's gonna tell us where we are. So it's saying that we are in France and this is the IP. So this is actually not my IP, it's a, a, an IP that was generated by the VPN. Another website you can use to check is uh, IP Chicken. It's also able to tell you the your public IP address. And it's also giving us our name address, usa1.vpnbook.com. So that's so that's how you install a free VPN on uh, your car Linux machine. Now, if you want to end your connection, obviously you just close out your web browser. Then you can do like a control C here, and that should exit that VPN or should close your VPN. To re-enable it, you'll go through the same process. You don't have to reinstall it. So to re-enable it, you run the same command we ran, the sudo, open VPN, and then select one of the files. Then you'll be prompted for the username and password, and then it should negotiate and create that tunnel for you. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.